I've been asked on how to make a flip clock on watch face designer. So first of all, you need to have images. I don't have them yet, but uh, I built a layer, which is this part inside, another one for the outside part. And I will use this layer as an image source. So right now it is digit zero. I select the layer, export it. I'll go place it somewhere. Hmm. I should have a folder in here. Yeah. Digits. Okay, yeah. And this is digit zero. Okay, then I'll simply change the text. One select and export again digit 1 and do this up to 9 Four. Whoops, I exported only the four. I should export the old group. So I export again. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, again, forgot to select the group, eight. Nine, okay, and now I should use these images to create transitions uh, and this we could do on Photoshop or something like that. <clears throat> I will use this option that it's not yet available. I put it here just for the record of this video because it's not finished, but Something like, let's create a transition, select image 1, digit 0, image 2, digit 1, folder, I'll go to um, generated, something like that, and 0, 2, 1, okay, it is building the transitions, and when it finishes, it should give me a message, or so I hope. Okay, images created successfully. Just to test it, I'll put here animated layer, image list, select, add image, generate this folder, and here are the generated images, so I can just press OK, OK, and this is the GIF. Okay, there's the original layer. Okay, so now I have this nice animation. Oops, I'll just have to repeat it for all the other images. They're not generated. One. Again, up folder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
so, so. Okay, images created successfully. Create. Two. Three. Two. Two. Three. Oops, not like this. Tools create three, four, generated three, four, create four, oops, five. Four to five. Five. Six. Generating. Five to six. Okay. Six to seven. Seven then seven to eight seven to eight and I'm almost finished. Eight to nine, eight to nine, okay, and finally nine to zero, nine to zero. Okay, so if I get the GIF player and go get the images, I have here all the images I've generated. Let me just see the animation. Okay, okay, and there it is. All the digits animated. Okay, so let's remove this. I don't need this base again, so I disable it. This also disable. And now let's build a digital clock. So I'll just create the seconds now. The seconds. And for digit zero, I select an image list, add images, and for zero, it is a transition from nine to zero. Okay, okay, and do the same for the others. Image list, this is 0 to 1. Okay, for digit 2, the same thing. Image list, add 1 to 2. Image list two to three. Image list three to four. Image list. Four to five. Oof. Image list five to six. I know this is a little boring, but 
it's work that I have to do. Five to six. Oh, I'm six to seven. Yes, six to seven. Okay. This will be seven to eight. Seven to eight. And finally, oops, eight to nine. Eight to nine. Okay, so now I have a second um, digital clock. However, it's always showing, so we don't want this. It's always repeating. So we'll go to each digit and change the animation repeat property and say one cycle every and I'll preview again and if we have zero it only repeats when changing okay so zero was stopped and now starts beginning starts repeating we could say repeat every two seconds and let me put this back to zero zero okay and now this is repeating every two seconds okay we don't want this we want this the easy way so it's just zero on all of them zero so it doesn't restart zero, zero. 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 Almost there. And that's it. Now we are seeing the seconds. We could increase the speed of the animation or decrease it. Okay, let's see. This is faster or even faster. Okay. And it's almost done. But now we will see the problem in here. It's going to zero and this is five. So momentarily it shows a nine. To fix that, we must remember that this is digit animations, not digit transitions, and we are trying to use transitions. So to fix that, I'll go create another flip down transition from five, oops, from five to zero. Okay, again, the generated, save, five to zero okay now i'll import an image layer and grab those images at image five to zero okay open okay and now i have this animation from five to zero and i want it I want it to be exactly over the first digit. A bit more like this. And it's exactly over. But because it is over, it's always hiding what's in behind. So let's change the image sources and add a transparent image. Now the last image. Is empty so it blinks momentarily if I change the repeat setting one cycle only every one minute it will show the complete cycle every minute and then hides because the last frame is a transparent image so let's change here the seconds something like 54 seconds okay and when this is going to transition it will show the animation that is over transitioning from 5 to 0 okay now I have to make sure that the frame rate is exactly the same so we will so that we don't see these problems where we are seeing the two animations yeah, there it was, because the clock animation is faster. In the clock, it is 
29 frames per second so the animation should have the same 29 so this is a trick we are using to fool the user and let's see and that's it so we created a seconds uh, digital clock okay we could have changed it and used instead of just seconds we could have used uh, hour and minute This is obviously too big, we can resize it, fit the entire digital clock inside and then choose the size, I will go for 350, oh, to be 350, okay, so it resizes for 350 and then the animation, I would have to be careful, let's see the animation, to resize it exactly the same size so I would have to go into the scale and whoops not as much and scale it so that it would have exactly the same time the same size so maybe slowly and it would be something like this and it would be here and this would be not once every minute but once every hour so we would see let's try it 59 and 55 seconds so we should see it changing in 5 seconds and that's it and then and this is a flip lock okay now I would just put these little bars I would rescale them and put them somewhere in there okay and that's it that's how I made a flip lock in I don't know how long again uh, I'm sorry you don't have this option it's still in development development so you have to create your transitioning images somewhere else at least until I can release this until I am confident enough to release this to public